In biology, the electric organ is an organ common to all electric fish used for the purposes of creating an electric field. The electric organ is derived from modified nerve or muscle tissue. The electric discharge from this organ is used for navigation, communication, mating, defense and also sometimes for the incapacitation of prey. Topic: Research history. In the 1770s, the electric organs of the torpedo and electric eel were the subject of Royal Society papers by Hunter, Walsh, and Williamson. They appear to have influenced the thinking of Luigi Galvani and Alessandro Volta, the founders of electrophysiology and electrochemistry. In the 19th century, Charles Darwin discussed the electric organ in his Origin of Species as a likely example of convergent evolution. But if the electric organs had been inherited from one ancient progenitor thus provided, we might have expected that all electric fishes would have been specially related to each other. I am inclined to believe that in nearly the same way as two men have sometimes independently hit on the very same invention, so natural selection, working for the good of each being and taking advantage of analogous variations, has sometimes modified in very very nearly the same manner two parts in two organic beings." Since the 20th century, electric organs have received extensive study, for example Lisman's 1951 paper and his review of their function and evolution in 1958. <laughs> evolution Electric organs have evolved at least six times in various teleost and elasmobranch fish. Notably, they have convergently evolved in the African Mormyridae and South American Gymnotidae groups of electric fish. The two groups are distantly related, as they shared a common ancestor before the supercontinent Gondwana split into the American and African continents, leading to the divergence of the two groups. A whole genome duplication event in the teleost lineage allowed for the neofunctionalization of the voltage-gated sodium channel gene SCN4RR which produces electric discharges. Developmentally, most electric organs in electric fish are derived from skeletal muscle. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Electrocytes. Electrocytes, electroplaques or electroplaxes are cells used by electric eels, rays, and other fish for electrogenesis. They are flat disc-like cells. Electric eels have several thousand of these cells stacked, each producing 0.15 V. The cells function by pumping positive sodium and potassium ions out of the cell via transport proteins powered by adenosine triphosphate ATP. Postsynaptically, electrocytes work much like muscle cells. They have nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. These cells are used in research because of their resemblance to nerve muscle junctions. The stack of electrocytes has long been compared to a voltaic pile, and may even have inspired the invention of the battery, since the analogy was already noted by Alessandro Volta. While the electric organ is structurally similar to a battery, its cycle of operation is more like a Marx generator, in that the individual elements are slowly charged in parallel, then suddenly and nearly simultaneously discharged in series to produce a high voltage pulse. Topic: <laughs> Firing To discharge the electrocytes at the correct time, the electric eel uses its pacemaker nucleus, a nucleus of pacemaker neurons. When an electric eel spots its prey, the pacemaker neurons fire and acetylcholine is subsequently released from electromotor neurons to the electrocytes. The electrocytes fire an action potential using the voltage-gated sodium channels on one or both sides of the electrocyte, depending on the complexity of the electric organ in that species. 
If the electrocyte has sodium channels on both sides, the depolarization caused by firing action potentials on one side of the electrocyte can cause the sodium channels on the other side of the electrocyte to fire as well. Topic: <laughs> Location In most fishes, electric organs are oriented to fire along the length of the body, usually lying along the length of the tail and within the fish's musculature, with smaller accessory electric organs in the head. However, there are some exceptions. In stargazers and in rays, the electric organs are oriented along the dorso ventral up -down axis. In the electric torpedo ray, the organ is near the pectoral muscles and the gills. See the image. The stargazer's electric organs lie between the mouth and the eye. In the electric catfish, the organs are located just below the skin and encase most of the body like a sheath. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Electric organ discharge. Electric organ discharge EOD is the electric field generated by the organs of animals including electric fish. In some cases the electric discharge is strong and is used for protection from predators, in other cases it is weak and it is used for navigation and communication. Communicating through EODs occurs when a fish uses its own electroreceptors to sense the electric signals of a nearby fish. Electric fish navigate by detecting distortions in their electrical field by using their cutaneous electroreceptors. Electric organ discharges influence mate choice in weakly electric fish, as females have been shown to be attracted to electric discharge characteristics of conspecific males. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Further reading. Review article on the molecular evolution of the electric organ. Phylogeny of weakly electric fishes. Comprehensive overview of electric organ function and evolution in weakly electric fishes. Succinct science article describing differences in gene expression between sarcomeres and electrocytes of electric organs. <laughs>